Hello. This presentation is going to be about three-phase flow, and the applications, as always, are three-phase flow in porous media, by which I mean you have a rock, such as this, but inside, as well as oil and water, we also have a third fluid phase, say gas, also present. But before I even look in a porous medium, let's look at a much uh, simpler idea, which is I have here some dishes with water, um, it's in contact with air, the gas, and then I've got an oil, I've got some olive oil, and I've got some crude oil. And let's see what happens. But before I do that, let's look at the theory, and then we can see um, what might happen. So in terms of the theory, okay, what happens when oil is placed on water? So here will be my droplet of oil that I'm going to place in my water in a moment. So what we can do is we can define a spreading coefficient. The spreading coefficient is the interfacial tension between gas and water, minus that between oil and water, minus that between gas and oil. And why is that significant? Because when the drop goes on the water, oil floats on water, but at the three phase contact line, there has to be a balance of forces. And because these are fluids, a triangle of forces. So if the gas water interfacial tension is less than the sum of the other two, you can have a droplet of oil floating on the water in equilibrium. So that's called a non spreading oil. It doesn't spread on the surface. You can have a second example, so obviously, the oil does spread. But the thing is, what happens then? Does it keep spreading and spreading and spreading? Well, it can. It can keep spreading and just build up a thicker and thicker film of oil. In which case, actually, we then define what's called an equilibrium spreading coefficient, which is where the interfacial tensions are now the interfacial energy, say, between gas and water, but with this film of oil present. And of course, if the oil wants to spread, if it forms this film, it's thermodynamically favourable to do this. This lowers the energy, so the interfacial tensions in equilibrium are lower. So you can have something where you form a film, but then excess oil, and we're going to look inside a porous media where there's plenty of oil, excess oil actually forms a drop. So in fact, it's initially spreading, but the equilibrium spreading coefficient in equilibrium is actually negative because the gas water interfacial tension has been reduced. Okay. The other example is in fact, this last one down here is where it just spreads and spreads and spreads, as I said, without limit. In which case now, as I said, you have a fat uh, film or even a layer now outside the range of intermolecular forces. And so the effective uh, interfacial energy or interfacial tension of the gas water interface is just that between oil and gas and oil and water. And so the spreading coefficient is by definition zero in equilibrium. In fact, the spreading coefficient in equilibrium either has to be a zero or negative. Okay, so that's what we see theoretically. Now let's see um, what happens in, I would say, reality. So I'm going to start here showing Right, the system here, I'm going to put some olive oil, first of all, on one of the dishes. Okay. You can see it now in profile, you can see that there's olive oil here that hasn't spread. If I sort of move the camera around so you look at it on, on from the top, you can see quite clearly that it forms a sort of flat pancake, but it hasn't completely spread out. So this olive oil is in fact a slightly non-spreading oil. Now I've got some crude oil, okay? This crude oil is a rather black, viscous substance. And um, the reason why it's black actually is because it's got chained, um, long chain alkanes um, that give it this black color, okay? So it should be quite easy to see. And I'm going to drop just a few droplets of that in here. Now it's difficult to see, but actually you're not really seeing much of a droplet. What you saw, the first few drops spread out more or less instantly. Now, if we look carefully, there is an almost flat pancake there. But you can see that the water is in fact discolored. Okay, all the way through it's being discolored with the oil, and the oil is spreading very, very slowly. So what we have there with the crude oil, in fact, this is true of most subsurface situations with crude oil, the crude oil actually is spreading, so it spreads out. And then maybe the equilibrium spreading coefficient is zero or very close to zero. As I'm talking, what we're going to see is we're going to see this all spread out more and more. So at the end of the video, 
um, you'll begin to see it's actually um, spread out over the over the entire dish. Okay, so that's interesting. Um, oil spreads on water. That should be well known. Um, if you spill some petrol when you're filling up your car and there's a puddle, um, again, you'd expect that petrol to spread out. Okay, but what does it mean in a rock? Well, it actually has some rather interesting consequences in rock. If we have oil in this rock and we inject water, we can trap the oil. Oil and water don't mix. Um, we can often trap oil in, in fact, some of the larger pores. So we can have about half of the pore space, up to half of the pore space, containing oil that is surrounded by water not moving. Now, if we were to inject gas, imagine we inject gas from the top of an oil pit, where the pore scale the gas contacts the oil, the oil spreads between the water and the gas. And so rather than being entrapped blobs, it's now spreading, it's continuous, it can flow, and the oil can flow down slowly under gravity. So in fact, it's a very efficient way of removing the oil. The oil may be flowing in these thin layers in the pore space, but flow it does. So now let's look our oil now and our olive oil you see our olive oil here is still non-spreading okay it's non-spreading oil spreading coefficient close to zero but it doesn't quite spread you see here now the crude oil has spread all the way through that dish and that has a, it has equilibrium spreading coefficient is effectively zero so that has some consequences where we're inside a porous medium the oil is going to spread it's going to become connected when gas is injected, and that's going to allow very efficient oil recovery. So, thank you very much.